Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA, and in this video we're going to be looking at the R1C1 formula notation. <clears throat> it can be pretty confusing when you first run into it, but once you figure out what it's doing, it can be very helpful when you're coding. So let's go ahead and dig right in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt F11. That's going to take you to your Visual Basic um, Editor, which is your IDE. And what we're going to do is we're going to spend most of our time in the immediate window because we're just going to be showing you the concepts and we're not necessarily going to be writing code. Now, if I come into this cell, I'm going to click on, if I click on this cell, it's going to be D17. Now, I put the R1C1 notation in there and I can show you what that looks like in our immediate window. So the first thing you want to do is hit a question mark and we're going to go active cell dot formula and this is actually going to return nothing because my active cell is just R1C1 right now because it's not a formula. Come back. We're going to go onto that line. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to get me D17 which is what I would expect. Now if I go in active cell dot formula R1C1 and I hit enter it's going to give me the relative reference of that formula. So R is for row, C is for columns. Everything within the brackets is a reference to the to itself, meaning if it's a minus one, it's up one row for rows. If it's a minus one in the brackets for the C, it's minus one column. Or if it's positive, it's to the right. And if there's no reference, then it is in the exact same column. Now, what if we did, what if we had equals this, but we did an absolute cell reference on it, or we locked that column. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm going to come on this. It's going to hit enter. It's going to put in that, uh, the C17. It's locked. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click on this line. I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to give me equals row 17, column 3 which if you look at look at where that reference is it's actually down 17 columns and over 3 or down excuse me down 17 rows over 3 columns now let's look and see what this looks like inside of a function because it can get a little bit more confusing so i've got this first one which is simple it's just a sum it's just a sum function and that's H17 to H19. I'm going to highlight on that again. I'm going to click enter and it's going to give me that reference. Now I'm going to come over here into my active cell, my formula R1C1, and you'll notice that sum is broken up in this range is broken up into two cell reference. So it's going to go minus two over a column and it's going to stay in the same row but over two columns. Now let's see what it looks like. Now I, I made a change on this. This is locked, so this is a locked formula. Uh, now you s heard that error. That basically means I'm inside of a cell and I can't go back into my Visual Basic Editor. So I gotta get out of that cell in order to go back. I'm gonna delete this just so that we, it's clean. If we click this, it's gonna give us what our cell reference is. If we click this, it's gonna give us an R our R1, C1 cell reference. Now you'll notice that that gives us a locked, it gives us locked on both sides. Now in this last formula, what I've done is I've locked some but not all. So I'm going to click on here. You'll notice that I've locked everything but this I. And you'll notice that everything's locked except for the stuff that's in the brackets. So now what I want to do is I want to, in my VBA uh, immediate window, I'm going to type in range. And I'm actually going to pass this information into one of these cells. So I want to pass, um, I'm going to go G22, and I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to pass in this R1C1 notation just so that you can see that it actually does pass in like it's supposed to. Now I don't have a question mark in my immediate window, and when you don't have a question mark, Excel is actually going to try to execute a piece of code. So when I hit enter on this, it's actually going to run this single line of code and it's going to put my formula in there. We'll see what happens. So if I hit enter, I don't have it in parentheses, that's a problem. 
So you'll notice uh, the immediate window will give you errors if you have them. All right, so I put in that put in that text and the R1C1 notation, and Excel converted it exactly the way that I would want it to. So that's a quick overview of the R1C1 notation. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.